In the 2022-2023 NBA season, the Western Conference has been wide open with many teams trying to fight for the, the third spot and obviously the number one spot. There have been a lot of teams, the Warriors, like the Clippers, like Utah, like Dallas, and like the Pelicans, trying to prove themselves this year. But there have been two teams in the in the Western Conference, who have standing out. That is the Denver Nuggets and the Memphis Grizzlies, who a team has been on an 11-game winning streak, a team that is only one game back of the number one seed in the West, and a team that is afraid, not afraid of nobody. Ladies and gentlemen, Memphis Grizzlies, this is going to be proof why the Memphis Grizzlies are the most dangerous team in the NBA. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We'll be back again with another video. And on his 11-game winning streak, the Memphis Grizzlies have been the most exciting team in the NBA. Partly because they have the most exciting player in the NBA, who is the MVP candidate, who is D. Rose 2.0, who has a poster almost every game and has a big-time block every game. But not only the Memphis Grizzlies have John Morant. They also have great role play. He has great role players around him, who know who plays their role, who all can shoot, who all can, they all can facilitate, and they all play with such energy. But you know what separates the Memphis Grizzlies from, from the Denver Nuggets and from everybody else in the West? They actually defend at a high level. Look at Jaron Jackson. Jaron Jackson was averaging four blocks a game during this eleven-game stretch. Steven Adams playing his role, getting his rebounds, and getting his blocks and defending also. Tyus Jones sometimes coming off the bench, sometimes starting, and getting great minutes off the bench, you know, defending, facilitating, and shooting the three ball at a high level. Desmond Bain just being the most consistent player he can be despite his injuries this year. And other role players, Brandon Clark, it's, it's a, lot, a lot of role players on this team that know their role and that that they're all playing at a high level with this team. They're all playing with such energy and they're all playing with a lot of consistent chemistry. There's a lot of chemistry with this team. Congrats to this coach because this coach, what he has done with a, between a two year span of this team has been amazing. And he almost has the team as the number one seed in the West. This team got to be reckoned with. Because I don't really see many teams beating the Memphis Grizzlies if they keep playing like this. For instance, the Golden State Warriors obviously are the biggest threat to them. But look at the Golden State Warriors. They're the most inconsistent team so far this year. Now, they had a slow start like last year. They still have Seth Curry. Klay Thompson is actually playing better at a high level. Jordan Poole is hooping. Draymond Green is doing his thing. Andrew Wiggins has been a little iffy this year. He's not been like like the All Star like he was last year. But who else? Memphis is not afraid of Golden State. It could have been a longer season last year if John Morant didn't get hurt. So John Morant wants that revenge. Who else? You can say Dallas with Luca, but who who else who else Dallas has? I don't know Luca and shooters. Sacramento's coming up, but Sacramento. We're going to see how they do in the second half of the season. Utah has lowered marketing, but come on now. Clippers is the Clippers. They can never say healthy. And obviously Denver. But Denver has Jokic and a great role players around him. But they, they their defense is not up to par like Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies had that Boston Celtics kind of defense. Now, I'm not saying they have better defense than Boston. No. Boston has the best defense in the NBA. There's proven pride. But Memphis. And quickly, let's talk about Ja Morant, y'all. Ja Morant, who is averaging 27 points per game, around six, six rebounds and eight assists. He's been defending at a high level, too. 
obviously the most exciting player in the NBA, but this man isn't afraid of nobody. He is coming at every team in the NBA right now. He said nobody is a threat to him in the Western Conference, and he meant that. I can't wait to see this team in the playoffs again because this guy's living with his team. You got Jaron Jackson putting up good numbers. Desmond Bain still averaging. He's averaging 22 points per game, y'all. One of the most underrated players in the NBA. All he does is plays plays his game. Dylan Brooks, who had a big time block at the, at the end of the game versus Cleveland to win the game. Brandon Clark coming out the bench. Giants Jones playing the highlight. All every body on his team is playing together. They playing their role. That's the key to this team. Why I believe this team is the most dangerous team in the NBA that nobody wants to play. And of course, John Morant. Did y'all see that dunk? That poster versus Indiana? One of the greatest posters I've ever seen. How he cocked back and slammed it like that. Did y'all see that block? Of course y'all did. Y'all see y'all seen this doing he doing this almost every game. He is Deep Rose 2.0. And y'all can have a debate who who is the better player. I, I mean, I'm not gonna say it. I'm, I'll, I'll probably make a video about that later, but this guy's really moved for this team, y'all. Y'all can comment down below who y'all think is the most dangerous team in the NBA right now and who y'all think is going to go all the way. But this team, how they looking, how they've been hooping, how, be, how they've been playing, and actually defending, unlike these other teams in the NBA, makes me believe they're the most dangerous team. That's all I got for this video, man. I just want to let y'all know. The lead should be scared of Memphis Grizzlies. The lead should be scared of John Morant. But we're going to see how things play out in the second half of the season. And like I said, if y'all new, make, make sure you give a ball a like. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, y'all.